going on YouTube, Mr. Tony's Hip Hop School, once again, in full effect. Don't forget to like and subscribe, share, like, subscribe, share, like, subscribe, share. Um, appreciate those who have subscribed. Really, really appreciate it. And um, we love to get this, this channel growing. I think it's very important that we pay homage to the fathers of hip hop. I'm talking about old school hip hop. Today's subject is gonna be about one of my favorite groups and a duo that I forgot about, Mantronics. This is, they was out around the time, pretty much high school until I was in, in my early 20s. But when I was in high school, I used to listen to Mantronics, Mantronics very heavy. Um, this was one of my favorite songs here. This is Fresh is the Word. This was kind of like a break dancing kind of song. But I used to love this song, man. I actually used to like the, the MC, MCT. He wasn't the greatest MC, but he was perfect for Mantronics. Mantronics was headed by Curtis Mantronic. I know he changed his name. He has like a Muslim name now. I can't remember his name, I'm sorry. But um, Mantronics was all that from 85 to 1990. Really 85 to 88. Um, they had many, I wouldn't say huge hits, but they was hits amongst hip hop people. I had to write them down because it was actually a lot more than I thought. Um, Cause there was certain songs that I really liked that they made. Um, this is one of them. Get Stupid Fresh was another one. Hardcore Hip Hop, Hardcore Hip Hop was another one. Baseline. Um, I think I wrote some down. Um, Scream, Ladies. They had this slow song called Dear Tracy that I used to actually play. Once I got into the military when I was down south, I used to play Dear Tracy a lot when I took long uh, road trips. You know, when I drove from city to city, state to state, I would play that a lot. I used to like that song. This is around the time when LL came out with I Need Love and then all these other rappers came out with these slow songs. So Mantronics came out with Dear Tracy. Um, but yeah, they had Lady, Scream, Baseline, Who Is It, uh, Got To Have Your Love. That was like a big club song in 89. Uh, Get Stupid Fresh, Fresh Is The Word, Hardcore Hip Hop. Um, I mean, they had a lot of, they had a lot of good hip hop. Um, Baseline was a very good one. Um, Curtis Mantronic was really ahead of his time back in the day um, as a producer. Nobody, this is what I'm saying. It's so much, it's so much of this music that's not never, it's never talked about. I mean, it's crazy. Um, we talk about producers. Curtis Mantronic is up there, man. But this is these guys, these people are overlooked. Like they never was nothing. You know what I mean? Like this is what I'm talking about when they keep talking about the same people, but then you just disrespecting all the ones that that put in the work to to really make hip hop elevate. Anybody that's close to my age, I'm 50. Anybody that's in my age group that love hip hop, trust and believe, they know about Mantronics. Mantronics had, like this song here, like the way it was put together, like if you really hear the beats, the synthesizer, all that. Um, I mean, the beat is all that. 
And then if you play it in a car with a system, it had bass. You know what I mean? You could you could um you could break dance to this song. You could do your pop lock and all that shit. I mean, I don't I don't understand why these guys are never talked about. I don't get it. Um <laughs> Sorry about that, y'all. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> but um, yeah, man. I mean, their heyday. They came out in '84. Man, Chinese came out in '84. Started making music in '85. I pretty much listened to them from '85. I was listening to them heavily, 85 to 87. And then, um, you know, as I got older, I mean, hip-hop hip -hop just started evolving, man. It just started getting better, man. It just got better and better over time. And um, I think I, I might have started getting tired of, like, the old style. And unfortunately, Mantronics was one of the groups that I was, you know, that, that breakdancing era was coming to an end. So I started getting tired of like hearing that typical, but he did, he did change the way he made music because I know when he came out with that song in 89, Got to Have Your Love, I didn't even, I didn't even know that was him. You know what I mean? I'm like, damn, man, Tonic made that? And that was like a club song. This was another one that I love. Hardcore hip hop. Anybody that's a fan of Mantronics, you love this song. Get Stupid Fresh. Get Stupid Fresh was my shit because of the beat. Like, if you had a system or a halfway, if you had a half ass system, Get Stupid Fresh was the shit. Um, but yeah, that heyday was 85 to 87. Um, a lot of their music was like breakdancing music, anything associated with breakdancing. But then, like I said, after a while, that kind of style, because really he came along when that style was kind of dying out. And... That's when he evolved and started doing like more club kind of music. And he was doing that from like 89 to 91. Even though I know he made some more songs, but they didn't they didn't catch on. But for me, Curtis Mantronic is one of the greatest producers ever to do it. He definitely dominated the late 80s. 85 to 89, he was the man. Um, I'm glad I, I'm glad I listened to them. I mean, they, they, they're very overlooked, very unsung group. Very. Um, Mantronic, Mantronics was definitely a hip hop duo that may be in the top 10 all time. I was talking about duos last week. And I can't believe I didn't think of them. But that's what I'm saying. It's, it's like it's so much it's so much hip hop that's overlooked. You know, it's, it's crazy. See, I'm a person, I don't watch television anymore, so I don't really get caught up in like, see, when you watch television, they constantly bombarding you with the same shit. So when it comes to old school hip hop, they constantly bombarding you with Biggie and Tupac. So you would think they like they're like the, the main ingredient to hip hop when they're not. And I did a video a, long, a while back talking about that those two were overrated, and that's what I meant. That it's so much hip hop that was done, man, that was made. You can't just talk about them two, man. And the and Mantronics is an example of that. That Mantronics is one of the greatest. They're not the greatest, but they're one of the greatest duos of all time in hip hop. 
I don't know what number they would come under, but they definitely up there. They definitely maybe in the top 12. But see, a lot of people, you know, they came around when hip hop wasn't, hip hop was super pop, uh, popular in the mid nineties. As far as from the, from the, from a commercial side. See, they came out when it was just a hood, motherfuckers from the hood love this music. It wasn't, it wasn't, um, it wasn't mainstream. Not no 85, 86, 87. Fuck, the 80s period. It wasn't, it wasn't mainstream yet. So, anybody that was into hip hop would love this shit. You know what I mean? I mean, I remember going to school and motherfuckers that had them boom boxes and shit, they was playing this shit. You know? Mantronics is one of the greatest duos of all time in hip hop. Remember I said that. I don't know what number they fall. They not no one, they not one through five. They not, no, they not. But they definitely about 11, 12, it just depends. And I gotta do a list. I gotta do a list. Of the all time greatest hip hop duos. Mantronics is definitely on the list. They're one of my favorites. I know I did a list for my for myself last week. And I know I came up with the top five, maybe six. For me, they might be seven. Cause I used to listen to them a lot. I used to listen to them a hell of a lot. I still got one of their tapes. I think it's this album. I think it's off this album. The one where it just says Mantonics all down, up and down the joint. Their first album. I got that on tape. It's dirty and it probably won't play because it's old, but I still got that shit. So... If you a person that don't know hip hop that well, old school hip hop, check out Mantronics. Listen to their music from 85 to, to, yeah, listen to their music from 85 to 89. And tell me what you think. You gotta be a person though that kind of like break dancing and you like the 80s era. But let me know what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, Mantronics. One of the greatest duos in hip hop history. Don't forget this is Mr. Tony's Hip Hop School. Tell your friends, anybody that likes old school hip hop, let me let them know. And on that note, peace.